Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 988. The category is the Final 50 Trivia Challenge. We're on part 13, working our way down to episode number 1000. That'll happen next week. Today's questions were sent in by Kath from Penrith, Australia. 21 questions, 20 up front. Question 21 at the very end of the video if you need to stick around for the tiebreaker. Good luck. Question number one. In which sport do countries compete every four years for the William Webb Ellis Trophy, which is named after the English schoolboy that supposedly invented the game? The answer, rugby. Question number two. This country in Europe is located in the Alps. It has five castles and is ruled by a prince. It shares its borders with Switzerland to the west and Austria to the north, south, and east. What is the name of this small country? The answer is Liechtenstein. Question number three. In 1991, Lithuania was the first of the former Soviet republics to leave the USSR. Eventually, all the republics left the USSR to form the Commonwealth of Independent States. Which Central Asian country was the last remaining country in the USSR? The answer is Kazakhstan. Question number four. What creature links sporting teams in San Francisco, New York City, Vancouver, Huddersfield in Great Britain, Greater Western Sydney in Australia with the story Jack and the Beanstalk? The answer is Giants. Question number five. In the Harry Potter books, Argus Filch, the caretaker of Hogwarts School, would patrol the corridors at night, hoping to catch students out of bed. His cat would join him in this quest. What was her name? A very formal name for a cat, Argus Filch's cat's name was Mrs. Norris. Question number six. It is the home of the Simpsons and it is the capital of Illinois. Springfield is one of the most common city names in the USA. True or false, there is a Springfield in every state in the continental USA. The answer is false. Only 34 out of the 50 states have a Springfield. Question number seven. Thought to have been captured by pirates as a teenager and sold into slavery, he escaped but later returned as a missionary, bringing Christianity into the country. What saint banished the snakes and is celebrated on his feast day that falls on March 17th? This popular saint is St. Patrick. Question number eight. Which video game character made his first appearance in 1981 as Jumpman in Donkey Kong before being given his own franchise? A plumber by trade, he regularly appears in games, movies, and cartoons with his brother. What is Jumpman's name?
we know him now as Mario. Question number nine. Karen Carpenter, Phil Collins, Don Henley, and Dave Grohl have successful recording careers as singers. But that's not all. At times, each of these musicians used to sing while playing what musical instrument? The instrument that connects all of these artists is drums. They were all drummers. Question 10. Many names come from occupations like archer, shepherd, or hunter. A cooper made barrels. A fletcher made arrows. A smith worked with metal and a mason worked with stone. What product would a chandler have made? A Chandler made candles. Question number 11. Different planets have different themes for the names of their moons. The moons of Jupiter are named after lovers or descendants of Jupiter. The moons of Mars are named after the sons of Mars. The moons of Uranus, however, are mostly named after characters in which author's plays. The answer is William Shakespeare. Question number 12. This Roman emperor was given the nickname Little Boots by his father's soldiers and as an adult declared war on the god of the sea and planned to make his favorite horse a consul. Whose reign ended when he was assassinated by his Praetorian guard in 41 AD? The answer is Caligula. Question number 13. The Mohs scale measures the hardness of minerals. The softest substance, talc, and the hardest substance, diamond, are two different materials made from which single element on the periodic table? That element is carbon. Question 14. Romance novelist Mary Westmacott is also known for writing crime novels. Her first detective novel, set in an English country house during the First World War, featuring a Belgian refugee who would later feature in numerous novels and short stories by the author. Who is this author? Mary Westmacott was a pen name. What was the real name? The answer is Agatha Christie. Question 15. This Australian band formed in 1991 has hits including hot potato and fruit salad, and they drive everywhere in a big red car. Some of the original band members used to be in a group called the Cockroaches, but now they are known around the world as what? The answer is The Wiggles. Question 16. First developed in 1885, served at Morrison's Old Corner Drug Store, and made available nationally after the St. Louis World Fair, which soda was initially marketed as aids digestion and restores vim, vigor, and vitality? Ah, yes. The three V's, Vim, Vigor, and Vitality, came from Dr. Pepper. Question 17. After the 2022 Academy Awards, Glenn Close and Peter O'Toole share the record for being nominated for the most Oscars in acting without ever having won an award. 
How many times have they been nominated? This is as of the 2022 Academy Awards. Without winning a single time, they've both been nominated eight times. Question 18. What is the name of the sport that was originally known as women's outdoor basketball, which is played by two teams of seven players on a court that is divided into thirds with two shooting circles at either end with goal rings that have no backboards? That game is called netball. Question number 19. In which American city was the setting for the television programs The Good Wife, Family Matters, Good Times, Married with Children, and ER, as well as the cities Fire, PD, and Med? The answer is Chicago. And question 20. The Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Australia is under threat from a number of factors, including rising water temperatures and poor water quality. What natural creature is also a major threat as it feeds on the coral reef? This infamous giant starfish is called the crown of thorn starfish, and it actually eats the coral. No bueno. That is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Thank you to Kath from Australia for sending in such a great quiz. You guys are really making the whole trivia writing thing look effortless. When I sit down to write a trivia quiz, it takes forever. I gotta do a lot of research. I gotta come up with ideas for what I'm right now. Then I write out the questions. Then I gotta proofread, blah, 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 blah. And you guys are just sending in 21 questions. Excellent, they're all good questions. Easy peasy. You guys have made the last 40 days of keeping this channel going very easy on me. I would not have been able to keep it going at all if it wasn't for your help. I know I got behind on several days. That's why I'm putting out a few extra episodes the last couple days and for the next couple days. But seriously, without the help of the people who participated in the Final 50 Trivia Challenge, I would not have been able to get any videos up while I was traveling around over the last few weeks. So thank you again to Kath and thank you to everybody else who submitted quizzes for the Final 50 Trivia Challenge. Check back next week. After or during the live episode, we're going to draw one of these people's names for a $500 cash prize as a small way to say thank you for everybody who participated. That'll be during the live episode, September 28th. Check back if you're interested in that, or let's just go straight to the tiebreaker from CAF for today. Many of the Norse gods, including Odin, die during this battle known as the Twilight or Doom of the Gods. In Norse mythology, what is the name given to the series of events that lead to a great battle between gods and giants and other monsters? In Norse mythology, what is the name given to the series of events that lead to the great battle between the gods and the giants and other monsters? The answer is Ragnarok. All right, that's it for today. Thank you again. See you tomorrow.